It's time for the Mithrala Life Bane Champion Guide. Some of you asked for it, and maybe others of you are curious about it. So let's jump right in. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. Something in my eye. We're talking Mithrala today. I got a message from my dude, Worthek123, and he was wondering about masteries and stuff about Mithrala. Well, I'll do you one better, my dude. We'll just make a full video for you and everybody else. Typically, if one or a couple people have the a question that's the same, lots of other people have that same question as well. That's what I've found from teaching, and uh, it's pretty true for Raid as well. So I'm excited about this champion guide. Um, it seems like uh, my brother messed up my uh, spacing here. Let me make sure everything's on screen for you guys. Okay, there we go. Mithrala Lifebane. Now, I did a video the other day on her as a top 10 champion in Raid Shadow Legends, and I still believe that to be true. Um, I'm, I'm working on her build. I'm trying out some things, but so far right now, I am pretty satisfied. So here's uh, her kit just real quick in case you don't know. We have two times at random... On the A1, when you're attacking a boss, obviously this will go to the same boss. But if you're using her against Hydra, then, you know, it's probably going to hit two different heads. I don't know pros and cons there, but it is what it is. The crazy thing about this is it's 100%. We don't have any other champion in the game who auto-places 100% poison on the A1. No other champion, I don't think. Um, AoE... Hex, increased defense, increased attack. Really good, really good. Uh, and then A3 is a full cleanse, strengthen, shield. Unparalleled, unparalleled. It's her passive, though, that is going to really bring us uh, a lot of mileage here uh, in this champion guide, probably. Um... I think that this is her most powerful ability, right? The two different parts. Um, whenever this champion is attacked by an enemy under Hex, 50% chance of applying Petrification on the attacker for one turn. Whenever an ally is attacked by an enemy under Hex, 30% chance of applying Petrification on the attacker for one turn. Um, so, if they attack her, which in my team they're going to, if they attack her, then it's a 50% chance to petrify them. Now, I believe that that is after they attack you, which is unfortunate, like, because then that would make her a lot more survivable, okay? Um, but I'm. it also applies on, on the enemy. So if they attack somebody else, it's a 30% chance. Now, that aside, like, even if you don't care about these random chances, also increases her resistance by the same amount as her accuracy, okay? And her base stats are very, very good. Her base HP, her base defense, her base speed are top, top tier. And then she has a base resistance and a base accuracy, which is very rare to find as well. So... Crazy awesome champion there, and we're going to get into her today. Now, when you're building this, you want to build her with both accuracy and resistance, okay? Um, so let's take a look at my build. I have a four-piece perception set. I have three six-star legendary pieces, which are like some of the better pieces on my account. And then I have this random shield that I'd like to replace. <laughs> um... It's all right. You know, it has three good stats on it. Maybe I should just put it to 16 and be done with it. Um, but I'm just going to take a quick look at my perception set fields and see if I didn't get anything better. Okay. Um, we're looking for these stats, right? Or something like this accuracy and speed. Um, 
she was a little bit slow and that's fine for my build like we could do this but then we would lose that speed and so i think that that's why i'm having a hard time finding another shield to replace it because it needs speed and so many um you know so many champions want speed basically everybody uh, but let, let's just take a look at equipped real quick before i go over the rest of it make sure that this is the final build because we could do that but i actually don't think that her accuracy or, or yeah her accuracy is not that high right now so I don't know. I don't really see a better one. That's probably why we ended up with this one. So anyway, um, okay. So going over her build, okay. Um, I When I went to do the build, basically I thought I want either HP percent or defense percent gloves. Probably either one of those are fine. You want her to be survivable, um, but I'll be honest, the main way she's been survivable for me is the reaction accessories. You know, like, these are not the best pair of gloves ever. They do have more HP, more defense, resistance, okay? Um, but I have an accuracy chest on, and I feel like that's the only reason why I'm hitting this high of an accuracy, okay? Uh, I tried to get, basically, accuracy, resistance... That kind of stats on all these pieces. We got a triple resistance here and accuracy hit. We got a triple uh, HP here with accuracy. You saw the shield. You saw the chest. The boots are not the best. They have resistance and speed. And then they're in the resistance set. So although the gear is good, I would say that maybe it's it's not as crazy end game optimal as what you would want it to be. Um, you're definitely gonna go want to go with an accuracy banner. Come on now. We tried. My brother and I tried all day yesterday to figure out if this lag in raid is on my computer or if it's just the game. So if you are experiencing this lag in the game, please let me know in the comments below because we could find no issues on, on my computer. All right, so uh, I have an attack amulet here and like this would obviously be better if it was something else, but it does have defense and resistance and HP and it's reaction, okay? Uh, I could not justify the banner, the banner being attack as well. Um, we just, we needed that accuracy. And then the ring is not optimal as either, but at least it's defense. Okay, it's defense with one hit on defense. We do have this HP, so it is what it is. I don't have that many options for reaction accessories, and the options I do have are on her, okay? Um, so if you have any reaction accessories, I recommend using them on her. If you're going to be mainly using her against Hydra, which I'm gonna suggest is a, a good choice today, um, then I would probably switch those. Like for Hydra, we don't need this. We don't need this. Um, Come on, we don't need this accuracy chest. I could switch that out. Um, we do not need this accuracy banner. I could switch that out, okay? I'd be happy with 200 or 250, 300 accuracy, whatever the case might be. I'd be happy with that. We don't need this, okay? We don't need the reaction accessories. So when, when I go run her um, in Hydra, um, I should really change that build. I should really change the build because this build is going to be for the arena. I mean, all right. So, two main places that I think you should use. Okay, I think you should use her in. Well, she could be good in Doom Tower. Let me just say, she could be good in Doom Tower and against some Doom Tower bosses. That would be very similar to a Hydra build. I think she's very, very good in Hydra. She provides all different kinds of stuff. We're going to look at her there. 
Okay, the other place I think that she would be great in is where I have been using her, which is Arena, all right? Um, let's take a look at the team that I would like to use her with. I'm not going to claim that this is a free-to-play friendly team, but I am going to claim that this is the team I'm using. So, let's come in here and use this team. All right. So, um, some of you may have this team. Tell me what you think about it, whether you have it or not. Let me know what you think about it, okay? Um, there are three Void Legendaries on of it. On it, Two of them you can get in the game. The other one was a 10x the other day. Um, I know that some people do have Necrit. I know some people do have Kandrafon. Okay, Kandrafon's in Swift Parry. Lydia's in Stone Skin. Necrit's in Stone Skin. I'm trying this to be a uh, sort of an end game build. So Mithrala has high resistance. So she should not be debuffed by Lydia. Okay, she should not be debuffed by Lydia. Um oh, we can't look at your stats like that. Can we now? No. Okay, that's still bugged. So we have something like 700 resistance. 475 and then over 200 675 yes yeah, something like 700 resistance okay uh so i i've never seen a lydia with that much accuracy right but sometimes like i don't have i don't have her glyphed yet so if i once i glyph her i think that we could get that above 700 but we're still not to the point with my great haul. Like I mentioned this in a video the other day, we're still not to the point with my great haul on this account where it is an end game great haul. My it my great haul looks very mid game, okay? Because the person who had this account before me, remember I've only been playing on this account for six months. The person who played this account before me did not ever do arena, so I didn't have any uh, I didn't have any medals. For my great hall, I didn't have any things leveled up in there. It was early game, very early game. So let me first say, if you are coming in here with stone skin, bro, definitely you should be doing that. Now you can see that we're alive. We're alive. And no one's been petrified yet. But Mithrala needs to be faster. Because she needed to go there. Now, I don't know what happened. I think Lydia is in Relentless. Because Lydia got two turns. Okay. Um, so, I think what we're going to do is we're going to attack here. Because we don't want her to... We don't want, we don't want her to kill us. Alright, well... Um, no, we're still okay. We're still okay. This is not really a great showcase of, uh, of Mithrala with her being dead, but she's about to be revived. Let's put this here. Perfect. Come on, come on, Arbiter. Revive. Revive. Try and uh, just kill this Lydia. And you can see, like, we're still alive. There it is. Our team is back up. And... Ally attack. Alright, well, we got the fear. Okay. Then... There's the Swift Berry proc. <laughs> there. Now we're going to get into what the team actually does. Decrease defense and weaken. Uh, I'm going to cleanse here, but we could do increase attack. And then I'm going to kill them. Right? So that looked like we were going to die. That looked like we were going to die there. Right? And that is obviously a very strong team. We had, uh, let's scroll back down. We had a plus one Lydia, 256k team power. Okay. This victory seven seconds. That was way longer than seven seconds. Um, I really wanted to fight this team, but I, I think Warlord's going to lock us out. But we definitely could fight that team. Although, 
or we would be resisted. I don't know. Let's try this team. The team power is not crazy high, so let's give it a shot. Uh, hopefully, they fix the arena um, in the next couple days because that it's been real bad. It got way, way worse this weekend. I'm curious if anybody knows, do we have any platinum finishers? Okay, there was the reaction proc. I'm going to fear him again. I'm going to see if we can kill Warlord because... Now, see, she's almost dead. Now she's dead. Um, and you can see... So, I don't know if this is, like, a great example of her. But this is one of her main functions in this team for me, okay? So, maybe it would be... Maybe I'm not choosing, like, the best team setup for her. Maybe I'm not. Um, I'm just gonna kill Arbiter. I know that I could mess around and get her revived. Um, it was essential for her to be revived the last time in order to get the win, but it's not essential for her now. Um, sometimes we need her to win. Sometimes we do not. All right, kill him. Oh, we got a weak hit. Okay. All right, so we did get the win here. I wouldn't say that we really showcased Mithrala. But, um, I don't know. You tell me. Like, what do you think of Mithrala in this team? Do you think that there's a better place that we could put her in? I think if we had a shield set somewhere, that would be good. But, because maybe I'm not going to be going up against teams with, that sh with, with uh, a lot of buff strippers. I will say I do like this team against Hegemon teams. So uh, <clears throat> let's see which Hegemon team we want to try her out against. I feel like don't want to do Lydia, Lydia. Okay, here's a plus four Trunda. So she might die again. I wonder if the only thing I need to do is make her faster. I wonder if that's the only thing. She's pretty slow. Oh, I forgot to go over the masteries. That's the super important part. Okay, so you can see there, um, she's dead. <laughs> this is the best, best Mithrala <laughs> showcase of all time. Um, the whole point of Mithrala in this team is so that, uh, oh my goodness, with that decrease attack, jeez. Can't put it on him. Oh, he can put it on himself. Like, I don't think he can put it on himself. All right, Kandrafon, you gonna bring this home? I don't think you are. <clears throat> um, well, there's an L. Uh, let's go try the other one. That's only minus four points. We'll try this one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so, um, and then I'm going to talk to you about Hydra as well, okay? I need to do the masteries before I end the video, right? So you could see there, Hedgy did nothing to us, okay? Maybe Mithrala has to be in stone skin. I don't know, because we have our whole team alive, except her. She's dead. All right, I don't know. Maybe we can't be doing Kandrafon against Duchess teams. This is still a new team to me. I think we need to do this. And then Necrit is no longer in Stone Skin. Okay, that's great. Is this a time where we actually want to use this ability? I think so. I think so. Let's put the fear on here. Okay. And then let's ally attack here. All right. 
And then Lydia, you're going to go? No, but we're not going to be able to land the decreased defense and we. Okay, now he's dead. Now she's dead. Now let's try to kill people. We did not kill anyone. Wowzers. All right, well, that was a very tough team, but I thought I also had a very tough team. So, uh, anyway, that's a plat finisher there for sure. Now let's 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 do some more things later. Arena is definitely going to be very hard this week. You can definitely use her in three v three, and I I like her over there as well. Okay, um, basically it gives you well, it's really the Necrit that's giving you the counter uh, to Hedgy. However, um, she's going to have such high resistance. So all she needs is survivability, okay? And I think that the survivability part is the part that I'm lacking. She has a decent enough accuracy and resistance, but she doesn't have the survivability to go with that. So, but anyway, that's just a realistic look at how I use her on my account. Um, okay, that's not the right X. I was trying to hit masteries. Okay, so I have her in defense and support. Um, coming over here to Eagle Eye, um, I put uh, resistance up here. You could come down here and go unshakable, but remember that the accuracy doubles up. So if you're not sure whether to do accuracy or resistance, do accuracy. Okay. Um, so this is the mastery setup that I have. Uh, I, I've been liking it, but, you know, I just have started testing with her this week, and this is where I'm at so far, okay? I want to mention for a second about Hydra, but I'm not going to actually go in and do a fight. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. We'll see. Let's come up here. Do I have the team ready for Hydra that I want to use? Yes. Okay, cool. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to take him out. And I'm going to put in Husk. Like that. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put her there. Like, so I'm going to do this kind of a setup. Where we have Mithrala and Lydia. They work really well together. Okay. We have Lady Kimmy and Arbiter. They work really well together. And then Husk and Royal Guard. They work really well together. Okay, so what I've noticed in this rotation of the Hydra is that Geomancer does not do as much damage as what he did before because Wrath is not in. Okay, one of the reasons why Geo did so much damage is because Wrath does so much damage. So I think um, for hard Hydra, these enemy max HP champs are the way to go. Uh, and then Mithrala, what she's going to do here is she's going to full cleanse. So... I think that that's a really great thing for this Hydra rotation. There's tons of debuffs on you. And she's going to put increased attack, increased defense. She's going to put that shield. So she's going to make your team very survivable. Um, Lydia's going to do the decreased defense and weaken. These two are going to be your damage dealers. Um, Lady Kimmy's going to do decreased speed and increased speed for you. Arbiter is going to do... Um, a speed boost and the revive. So I think that this team is going to be very good for hard Hydra. Maybe it could be used for brutal if you had better gear than what I have. Uh, but I don't think that my gear is good enough for brutal. I just keep dying. Although this might be the rotation to do brutal on because um, there's no head of wrath. Um, and all the rest of the heads don't do that much damage. It's the head of wrath that's the real problem for damage. So... Uh, those are the two main areas that I think uh, you should be using her in. But let me know in the comments where you think would be best to use her. Okay? That's my build. Break it down. Tell me what you don't like about it. Tell me what you do like about it if you like other stuff. Um, you know, I'm open to um, uh, changing her build. I'm open to improving. I don't think that this is her final build. So... Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. I'm MTG Jedi. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.